What's up guys, right hand here, and today I will be showing you how to do this cartoon eye here that you're looking at. Um, I think I saw it somewhere, and it basically inspired me to put it on paint, the program paint, <laughs> um, and just recreate it. And that's what I did, and I think it looks uh, very nice uh, for a ca cartoon eye. Uh, in the future, I will be starting to do more art stuff. I just haven't got around to it, and um, for right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to do cartoon eyes, but I will do more, I promise. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first, I have a couple custom colors here. And first we start with the skin tone. And that's the simple part. Um, this is actually not that hard. So first what you want to do is put a straight line out. As straight as you can. I think that's pretty straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then uh, the next thing you want to do is kind of have a diagonal line here kind of going back a little bit. Try not to do it too steep. Um, that. And then we have the squiggly line here. Uh, so then you put the squiggly line from here to here and you might say, right, this line isn't squiggly, the eye looks like a triangle. But really, there's a secret behind the squiggly line and that means you can move it. Look at, look at that. Doesn't that look wonky? But you can move it, which is really helpful in this case, to an arch. You can't do it any other way that I know of, rather than doing it yourself. So then you select this oval tool thingy here, and draw this here. Get it in whatever position feels comfortable for you. You don't just have to follow what I do. You can add your own artistic things to it. Whoops. Oh no, where's my undo button? Turns out it was under the recording. Okay. Uh, then you do another oval thingy over here. And, and then kind of put it off to the side. So this is your pupil. And it'll be where the person is looking. So you can really position it anywhere, but right now I'm going to push position it up here. And the next thing we have to do, which is pretty simple, is the shine of the eye. And that's just basically another, another oval. Just kind of touching the rim and kind of overlapping the pupil. And there you go. It might not look much of an eye right now, but it all depends on the shading to kind of bring it to life. See, now you can see more of the shape cart starting to come. Um, I'll use this blue for the eye. Inside. And there, we're done. That was almost two minutes to actually explain how to do it. And basically, that's it. I would love to see your creativity, so uh, post in the comments anything you want me to draw in the future, or anything, your tips, anything. So, thank you for watching this episode, and have a great day!